after 5 p.m. Two more shootings in two different boroughs here on East 105th Street in Harlem. A 20-year-old man shot in the leg. Police say the gunman got away on a city bike as police looked for the shell casings and the gun possibly tossed under a car. And then in the 103 precinct in Queens, another young man shot in the leg, bringing the number to more than 24 people shot in the last 24 hours. Saturday night in New Lots, Brooklyn, the most deadly. A man died after after being shot in the face and a woman killed from a bullet to her back. Both the NYPD crime statistic experts and those in the neighborhoods have their theories. What have you heard Shooting about? is up everywhere and it's, uh, it's like a snowball from the pandemic onto the riots. It seems to be uh, a trend. From Sunday, June 21st through Saturday, June 27th, a total of 79 shooting victims in 57 incidents. And police say there are a number of factors to blame for this apparent rise in street lawlessness. The NYPD says bail reform laws, backed up court systems, and the release of so many inmates from Rikers because of COVID concerns. There's a lot of people, you know, Caged up, cabin fever. That's the only thing I could really say. Like there wasn't a, there wasn't a lot of people outside. There wasn't a lot to do. And now that everything is uh, freed out and everything. There were 125 shootings in the first three weeks of June, more than double the same period as last year, according to police. And at least one East Harlem resident believes the ongoing protests have empowered the criminals as well as those legitimately seeking social justice. I think they're really taking advantage with the protests. They're just because now, you know, people are acting out and I guess the cops are not trying to do anything about it. So I think they're trying to take advantage of that now.